Probability Part 2. We're going to talk first about mutually exclusive events. Two events, A and B, are said to be mutually exclusive if the occurrence of one of the events excludes the possibility of the other event from happening. Example 1, the event of drawing a red ball or drawing a ball marked 1. If you look at these two events, uh, they're mutually exclusive event events. If you draw a red ball, you can't get a ball that's marked 1 right and vice versa if you draw a ball marked 1 you don't have you can't it excludes the possibility of having a red ball so these two events are mutually exclusive let's look at another example example 2 take the two events of drawing an odd numbered ball or drawing a red ball drawing an odd number ball does not exclude the possibility of drawing a red ball in other words, they can both happen at the same time. You can draw a 3, and that's an odd number ball, and you also have a red ball, and vice versa. You can draw a uh, red ball and get an odd number ball. Thus, these um, uh, two events are not mutually exclusive. Now, this is important because when we talk about or type probabilities, which we will, here it is, or type probabilities. The probability that events A and B happens is the probability that A happens or B happens, which equals the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability that both A and B happen at the same time. When A and B are mutually exclusive events, the probability that A and B happen at the same time right here equals zero, and we only have to look at the probability of A plus the probability of B. Important. The probability of A or B equals the probability of B or A. You can switch them around. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Find the probability of drawing a yellow ball or drawing a 3. Well, we look at this thing, a yellow ball or a 3. Now, if you draw a 3, it excludes the possibility of having a yellow ball, and vice versa. If you draw a yellow ball, you're not going to have a 3. So these events are mutually exclusive. We really have to worry about just the sum of the two probabilities. The probability of drawing a yellow ball or a 3 equals the probability of drawing a yellow ball plus the probability of drawing a 3. Of course, there are two yellow balls out of 5, so the probability of drawing a yellow ball is 2 fifths. Um, there is one three uh, in the whole bunch, and uh, there are five balls, so that's one fifth. We add them up, and we get three fifths, and that's the probability right here of drawing a yellow ball or a three. Let's look at one more example. Find the probability of drawing a red ball or drawing an odd number ball. Essentially, I don't have that. I probably should put that. Should an odd number ball? B A L L. Uh, these events are not mutually exclusive because it's possible to draw both a red ball and an odd number ball at the same time. You could draw a five, right? So the probability of drawing a red ball or an odd number ball equals the probability of drawing a red ball plus the probability of drawing an odd number ball minus the probability of drawing a odd red ball, red and odd, right? So let's see what that is. Okay, gotta get rid of that. The probability of drawing a red ball is 3 out of 5. So I'll put a 3 here and I'll put 5 here. The probability of drawing an odd number of ball, how many odd? There's 1, 2, 3 odds out of, out of 5. So this is 3 out of 5. And then the probability of drawing a red odd ball. Let's see how many there are. There's 1 red odd, 2, 2 out of 5. And I think that comes up to 4 out of 5. So the probability of drawing a red ball or an odd number ball is 4 fifths. 4 fifths of the time you will do that. 